To understand what factors of polynomials are and how they can be used, we need to understand the basics of factorization first. We start with simple numbers. How do we find the factors of the number 6? To find the factors of 6, ask yourself, how can we write 6 as a product of two numbers? We can write 6 as 1 multiplied by 6 and also 2 multiplied by 3. Is there any other combination you can think of? No, there isn't any. So the factors of 6 are these four numbers 1, 2, 3 and 6. 1 is a factor of 6 since there is some natural number that it can be multiplied with to get the original number. Similarly, 2, 3 and 6 are also factors. But the number 4 is not a factor of 6 because it cannot be multiplied with a natural number to get a 6. Let us also try finding factors for the number 8. 8 can be written as 1 multiplied by 8 and 2 multiplied by 4. There is no other combination of the two numbers which gives us 8. So the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. This can also be seen in a different way. If we divide a number by any of its factors, the remainder will always be 0. If you divide 6 by 3, you will get 2 as the quotient. If you divide 6 by 1, you will get 6 as the quotient. If you divide 8 by 2, you will get 4 as the quotient. In all the cases, the remainder is 0. How does this help us? What if we want to know whether a number is a factor of another number or not? For example, if we want to know whether 8 is a factor of 216, what would you do? This is where division helps us. If you want to know whether 8 is a factor of 216, all we need to do is divide 216 by 8. After the division, if we get the remainder as 0, we can say that 8 is a factor of 216. So let us divide 216 by 8. Yes, the traditional way where we write 216 like this and 8 next to it. After solving, we get the quotient as 27 and the remainder as 0. As the remainder is 0, we can say that 8 is a factor of 216. We can write 216 as 8 multiplied by 27. What else can we say after looking at this process? Is 27 a factor of 216? Yes, as we can write 216 as 8 multiplied by 27, 27 is also a factor of 216. Remember, 8 and 27 are two of the many factors of 216. This division just helps us to know if 8 is a factor of 216 or not. And if we find out that the divisor is a factor, then the quotient as well has to be a factor. Let's see if 9 is a factor of 216. We will have to divide 216 by 9. So after we finish our division process, we see that the remainder is 0. So 9 is a factor of 216. And since 216 can also be written as 9 multiplied by 24, 24 is also a factor of 216. In the process of finding out if 8 and 9 are factors of 216, we also found out two more factors of 216. 27 and 24. What about 10? Is it a factor of 216? To find out, we divide 216 by 10. In this case, we get the remainder as 6. As it's not 0, we can say that 10 is not a factor of 216. We can also conclude that 21 is not a factor of 216. Remember, if the remainder is 0, the divisor and the quotient are both factors of the dividend.